Hi there, it's Kurt with Kurt Tanner Motor Cars. This is our 1967 Austin Haley 3000 Mark III BJ8 Phase II sports convertible that we have for sale. Um, super good 65,000 original mile car. Um, we believe it's wearing all of its original paint work right now, except that trunk lid. But uh, yeah, we've paint metered the car and it's, it's like all original paint work. So, so super well preserved, unrestored, um, untouched, uh, final year BJ8 here in great colors. Um, British Racing Green, black interior, black top, four speed, wire wheels, overdrive, heater. Um, you know, North American delivery spec, Mark III, but just an exceptional car for restoration. Very straight, great, great panel gaps. Like I said, never been apart. Uh, we purchased this car recently from the state of Arizona. Before then, um, there's some license, there's a license plate on it from Alabama. Um, but the ownership of this car is pretty impressive. We bought it from the son of the owner. I think he said his dad bought it in like 1971 as the second owner of the car. So really, really nice history. Been in the same family for like the last uh, 50 years here. But like I was saying, you know, really good little car to restore with just kind of some minimal rust. Um, just kind of on, on a couple spots of the body there. Great frame underneath, perfectly straight, um, you know, main chassis rails, hardly a ding in them. Um, great headlamp areas, really lovely grill fit. Uh, little, little tiny bump there, you can see uh, just down here, little baby bump, but uh, but great, great hood fit. You can see here gap wise, really, really good door gaps, good door fit. A uh, tiny bit of rust here in the dog leg just starting, but you can see here, this is like the original primer just poking through that original red oxide and um, um, really good straight body. As we come around the back here, excellent, excellent trunk fit. Let me show you in the trunk here. Lots of miscellaneous bits and pieces. Um, these are all these are all the original rivets that attach the rear shroud, and we can see here it's never had any damage um, in the tail, which is fantastic. So that's exactly what you're looking for on a project is is all that nice undisturbed bodywork. Uh, little little bang, little pop up on this rear fender that's folded the corner. That's an easy uh, fix for the body shop. Uh, another little tiny bit of repair there. But this car has all the original rockers in place. And like I said, look at the undercarriage photos. Um, just super, super good solid car underneath. Uh, impressively, this car has a lot of really nice chrome parts. So, you know, we know this car has been tucked away forever. Uh, original windshield, the original triplex windshield. We've thrown some shop tires and wheels on here, um, which lets the car roll nicely. But yeah, really good hood fit. I'll show you the engine compartment in a second. So interior wise, this thing's been left out in the elements and uh, you can see the interior is all there, all original, but it's just completely uh, weathered away. Um, floors are pretty, they're, the floors are here. They're all the originals. They are getting a bit scaly. We can see a little hole poking through there. And then, of course, the driver's tow board is, is gone at this point. But um, what you're seeing here are all the original floors. A little bit more scale back here. Um, so probably a candidate for maybe a set of floorboards. But you are going to attach them to some really good inners and outers. Um, Dash is all here, all complete. You can see the steering wheel's pretty weathered. The uh, Bakelites just fell off the steering wheel, but all the gauges are complete. Uh, seats are all here, top frames all here. Everything you need to restore this car. Um, 
with all the original parts are, are, are sitting here in the interior. So it's just really, really weathered, but, um, you know, totally complete, totally untouched. Uh, Speedo reads 65,207, which is absolutely original. Uh, another great, gr another nice uh, fitting door. So yeah, this is what you want to look for when restoring a car or finding a project is you've got really nice uh, gap alignment here. So I'm, it's showing there's no structural sag on this car whatsoever, because if you look at the undercarriage photos, the uh, the chassis is fantastic on it. So this is the fit here. You can see really beautiful straight door alignment. Um, so let's take a look under the hood. Um, I've put a battery and fuel to this car and the engine runs great. Um, when it came in, we took the plugs out and uh, soaked the engine for months. And then we, uh, we started it up the other day. You can see my hot wire still there in place, but, but, uh, but yeah, super original engine compartment. This engine, I don't think has ever been out of the car. You can see all the original textured hoses and clamps there, original Lucas distributor cap, original coil. Um, the water pump was frozen, so we just clipped the belt and uh, was able to get the engine nicely turning and running great, you know, super oil pressure. So I think this engine's a winner. I think just doing ancillary and carbs and, and a water pump and, and gaskets, you could, uh, you could keep the engine going here. But beautifully straight car all around the front here. If you've ever restored one of these cars, you can tell this thing's just a virgin. It's just, you know, really lovely uh, front shroud super thin original paintwork, all the original paintwork on the back of this hood. Um, um, you know, most likely it's matching number engines. This has never been out of the car. Um, I don't think we have the air cleaners. We'll look around. We may be able to include a few, but really lovely, untouched, unmolested, original engine compartment. Even the cloisonne on the front badge is fantastic. You know, this original, uh, uh, glass cloisonne molding uh, emblems there We're in great shape but yeah there it is um, if we were if we were seriously restoring Healy's at this point we would we would without a doubt we would grab this one and start tearing it apart and doing a ground restoration on it but um, our business has changed over the years and um, and if you are in the market to find a, uh, a Healy restoration project, a very desirable, valuable BJ8. Um, this is probably the best one you're gonna find on the market right now. So 65,000 mile car, 1967, final year, Austin Healy 3000 Mark III, BJ8 sports convertible, finished in its original British racing green, black interior, four-speed overdrive, wire wheels, heater, full North American spec car. We purchased it from Arizona. It's a, uh, it's a two, two owner car. We just purchased it from uh, the, the original owner from 1971. So he bought it when it was five years old, four years old, but uh, but wonder, wonderful car to restore here, and it's for sale right now, www.kurttannermotorcars.com. Running engine, you could probably do brakes and get this thing, uh, you know, get the fuel supplied up to the engine and do brakes, and you'll, you'll be able to drive this car. And once again, it's for sale right now on our website, and uh, pluck this one up, and, and you'll have a fantastic project for, uh, for over the winter.